activities is much more than what meets the eye. It's not just about yelling loud and big bows, but much, much more. Cheerleading began in 1898. Many successful people have been cheerleaders, such as Sandra Bullock, Blake Lively, Miley Cyrus, George W. Bush, Ronald Reagan, Dwight Eisenhower, Franklin Roosevelt, and even many teachers from OCHS, such as Mr. Davis, Mr. Springer, Mrs. Myers, Miss Williams, and many more. Assistant cheer coach Tim Bland notices that the cheer world has changed since he was last on a squad. Um, well, everything's gotten a lot harder. Um, back in the day when I used to cheer, it was basically just straight up stunts and you come down and cradle. But now it's more innovative. You're, you're twisting, you're flipping, you're doing all crazy kind of stuff. Um, I definitely think nowadays it's a lot harder because you're asked to do more things in your routine. Now you just don't do stunting. You have to stunt, you have to tumble. Bland also notices something special in the OC cheer squad this year that will take them all the way to nationals. Well, the team this year came in with a better attitude. Um, you know, the team we had last year was a good team, but they didn't bond as well as, th as this team has. Um, they have a better work ethic. They want to be here, and you know, if you don't have kids that want to be here and want to be at practice and cheer for their school, it's not going to work out no matter what you do. You know, every kid um, is coached differently, so you have some kids that you can yell at, and then you have some that you have to baby all the time. Um, I don't think we have any of those on the team this year, but you know, sometimes you have to yell at them, sometimes you make them do push-ups, make them run sprints, but you know, for the most part this year, we haven't had to do that. Um, the kids are more motivated this year, so it's kind of easy. The cheerleading will change in 1980 when strictly competitive cheer emerged. Now school cheer teams also have a competitive cheer aspect as well. The OC cheer team just qualified for nationals in Orlando, Florida this February. Michaela Olson, senior cheerleader, tells why this year's team has been so successful in their goal of world nationals and top teams have not. Uh, I think our team this year overall just wants it more and is more dedicated. Um, we've had harder practices and everyone's more motivated this year to go. There is a constant debate on whether or not cheer is a sport. Many believe cheerleading is just a glorified beauty pageant and requires no more skill than just standing on a sideline. On the other hand, many believe it requires extreme physical capability, making it one of the most difficult sports out there. Olsen gives her opinion on this argument and tells why she loves cheer so much. Um, it is a very demanding, um, hard physical activity where we come in every day, two hours of practice, nonstop. We compete against other teams. Um, scoring system is based on if you hit it, the stunt, or not. And if you don't, you get points taken away. So it's very critical. OC's cheer team has worked very hard this year to make it to nationals. Everyone support and encourage the cheer team as they continue their season on the journey to Orlando, Florida. Family!